Today in Science News, biologists design bacteria for mosquitoes to prevent the spreading of disease. For years, scientists at Monash University in Australia have been developing different kinds of bacteria and, and infecting mosquitoes with it to release them in the environment and record the impacts. In 2010, a British company called Oxitec released 3 million of these mosquitoes on a Caribbean island. These results were astonishing because these test mosquitoes replaced a swarm population of regular mosquitoes that could be carrying diseases. Since then, these scientists have been perfecting their bacteria and hope to keep releasing swarms to further lower the infected population count of mosquitoes in high-risk areas. Such areas are Middle America, South America, spots in Africa, and South Asia. This bacteria is a genetically engineered fungus that can target the malaria pathogen in its development phase of a mosquito. When these genes are enhanced, they produce a toxin called scorpene. That can reduce a parasite capacity by 98%. Currently, mosquitoes pass on diseases like malaria, yellow fever, dengue, and triple E. Together, these diseases surpass vaccine developers and kill hundreds of thousands of people each year, which ranks mosquitoes as one of the deadliest creatures on the planet. The World Health Organization estimates in 2010, 655,000 people died from malaria. Hopefully, if this research is progressed over the next few years, they can find an optimized bacteria to infect these mosquitoes with. Maybe they can take a few approaches to spread this bacteria as much as possible. One approach could, I could see is the sterile strategy. This would basically mean that these scientists would release massive swarms of mosquitoes and hope that they breed with infected mosquitoes. This is good because the test mosquito is immune and will not contract the disease when breeding. But more importantly, since the infected mosquito is breeding with a test mosquito and not a normal one, it is less likely that the disease will spread because the infected mosquito will not be able to breed again before it dies. Finally, the last aspect of this strategy is that the test mosquito is designed to have non-viable offspring. So when the mosquito gives birth, the child will die, which overall will lessen the total population of the mosquito population. This means less disease-ridden mosquitoes to transfer to humans and less human deaths. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If so, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or thoughts, please leave a comment below. Until next time, have a good day.